The year 2017 marked a pivotal moment in our understanding of human evolution. Deep within the heart of Morocco, at a site known as Jebel Irhoud, scientists unearthed something truly remarkable. These weren't just any ancient bones. These were the fossilized remains of early humans, and they were about to rewrite everything we thought we knew about our species' history. Imagine the scene. A team of dedicated archaeologists meticulously brushing away layers of sediment. The air is thick with anticipation. Each swing of the pickaxe, each delicate movement of the trowel, brings them closer to uncovering secrets buried from the land. And then a discovery that sent ripples through the scientific community. A skull remarkably well preserved, emerging from its ancient slumber. This was no ordinary find. This was a Homo sapiens skull, and it was astonishingly old. Dating techniques revealed its age to be around 300,000 years old, shattering previous records by a staggering 100,000 years. The implications were profound. This discovery pushed back the known origins of our species, forcing us to reconsider the established narrative of human evolution. The world held its breath as scientists prepared to delve deeper into the mysteries held within the Jebel Irhud fossils. The story of Jebel Irhud doesn't begin in 2017. It stretches back much further into the depths of history and human evolution. Our journey back in time at this site started decades earlier, in the 1960s, with the discovery of some intriguing fossils. These initial finds sparked curiosity and set the stage for future explorations. Back then, the finds were initially attributed to Neanderthals, our close evolutionary cousins. This was a common assumption given the knowledge and technology available at the time. The dating, too, seemed to fit the narrative of the time, placing the fossils at around 40,000 years old. This dating aligned with the prevailing theories about human evolution and migration. However, the Jebel Irhud site held more secrets waiting for the right time to reveal themselves. The layers of Earth concealed stories that would challenge our understanding of human history. Fast forward to the 21st century, and a new team of archaeologists, led by the renowned paleoanthropologists Jean-Jacques Houdlin and Abdelouad ben Nser, embarked on a mission to re-examine the site. Their goal was to uncover the deeper truths hidden within the ancient soil. Using cutting-edge dating technologies and meticulous excavation techniques, they unearthed more complete remains. These advanced methods allowed for more precise dating and a clearer picture of the past. These new discoveries included skulls, teeth and limb bones, all pointing towards a much more archaic form of Homo sapiens than previously imagined. The implications of these finds were profound, suggesting a much earlier presence of modern humans. The fossils themselves were a treasure trove of information. Each bone, each fragment, held clues about the lives and environments of these early humans. The skulls, though bearing some resemblance to modern humans, possessed distinct features, a longer lower skull case, a larger face, and a more prominent brow ridge. These characteristics provided insights into the physical evolution of our species. These subtle differences hinted at the evolutionary journey our species had undergone over hundreds of thousands of years. The Jebel Irhud fossils were a crucial piece of the puzzle in understanding this journey. The Jebel Irhud finds weren't just about bones. They included a variety of artifacts that shed light on the daily lives and skills of these early humans. Alongside the skeletal remains, archaeologists uncovered a treasure trove of tools and animal bones providing a glimpse into the lives of these early humans. Now, these artifacts revealed their ingenuity and adaptability. These artifacts painted a picture of skillful hunters capable of crafting tools and potentially even controlling fire, a testament to their growing cognitive abilities. The Jebel Irhud site continues to be a window into our distant past, offering invaluable insights into the origins and development of Homo sapiens. Before Jebel Irhud, the fossil record pointed towards East Africa as the cradle of humankind. Discoveries like Lucy, the famous Australopithecus afarensis skeleton found in Ethiopia, and the later Homo erectus fossils from across East Africa seemed to solidify this narrative. It was a story that unfolded in the Great Rift Valley, a region teeming with ancient lakes and grasslands, seemingly the perfect setting for our early ancestors to evolve. But Jebel Irhud challenged this well-established paradigm. 
Suddenly we had compelling evidence of Homo sapiens existing on the opposite side of the African continent and at a much earlier time than anyone had anticipated. This wasn't just a minor adjustment to the timeline, it was a paradigm shift, forcing scientists to reconsider the entire geographical and temporal framework of human evolution. The discovery suggested that early humans were far more widespread and adaptable than previously thought. It seemed that our ancestors were not confined to a single corner of Africa, but were already venturing across the continent, exploring new territories and adapting to diverse environments. The Jebel Irhud find painted a picture of a more complex and nuanced story of human evolution, one where multiple populations of early humans were likely evolving and interacting across wide swaths of Africa. This challenged the notion of a linear progression from one species to the next, suggesting a more intricate tapestry of human evolution. Section 4. Rewriting the History of Human Migration The Jebel Irhud discovery necessitates a re-evaluation of early human migration patterns. This site has provided us with some of the oldest known Homo sapiens fossils, dating back approximately 300,000 years. Previously, the prevailing theory posited that Homo sapiens originated in East Africa and then dispersed throughout the continent and eventually the world. This theory was based on fossil evidence and genetic studies that pointed to East Africa as the cradle of humankind. This new evidence, however, suggests a more intricate and multifaceted story. It indicates that early humans were not confined to one region, but were exploring and settling in various parts of Africa much earlier than we thought. The presence of Homo sapiens in Morocco 300,000 years ago implies that our ancestors were traversing the African continent much earlier than previously believed. This challenges the notion of a single linear migration out of East Africa. Could there have been multiple dispersals with early humans? venturing out from different regions of Africa at different times. This possibility opens up new avenues for research and exploration. The Jebel Irhud find opens up a Pandora's box of questions about these early migrations, their roots and the motivations behind them. Were these migrations driven by environmental changes, social factors, or a combination of both? Furthermore, the discovery highlights the importance of considering the entire African continent in the story of human evolution. Each region may hold unique clues that contribute to our understanding of how early humans lived and moved. For too long, East Africa has been seen as the sole cradle of humankind, while other regions, like North Africa, have been relatively neglected. This new evidence encourages a more inclusive approach to studying our origins. Jebel Yehud compels us to broaden our horizons and investigate other areas that may hold crucial clues to our ancient past. By doing so, we can piece together a more comprehensive picture of early human history. This shift in perspective also prompts us to reconsider the factors driving early human migrations. What environmental pressures or opportunities might have influenced these ancient journeys? Climate change, competition for resources, and the pursuit of new hunting grounds could have all played a role in pushing our ancestors to explore new territories. These factors likely interacted in complex ways to shape migration patterns. Understanding these ancient migrations is not just about tracing our footsteps across the globe, it's about understanding the forces that shaped our species and its remarkable journey. By studying these movements, we gain insights into the resilience, adaptability and ingenuity of early humans. Section 5. Tools of Survival Insights into Early Human Life the Jebel Irhud discovery wasn't just about bones, it was about understanding the lives of these early humans, their daily struggles and their triumphs. Alongside the skeletal remains, archaeologists uncovered a treasure trove of artifacts that provided invaluable insights into their daily existence, shedding light on their survival strategies and social structures. These artifacts, primarily tools and animal bones, painted a vivid picture of resourceful individuals capable of crafting tools and adapting to their environment. They were not just surviving, but thriving in their harsh surroundings. Among the most significant finds were the stone tools, crafted with a level of sophistication that surprised many researchers. These tools were not only functional, but also demonstrated a deep understanding of materials and techniques. 
These weren't crude implements, but carefully shaped points, blades and scrapers, all meticulously crafted using the Levalois technique, a sophisticated method of napping stone to produce specialized tools. This technique required foresight and planning, indicating advanced cognitive abilities. Such advanced tool-making abilities pointed to a level of cognitive complexity not previously attributed to Homo sapiens at this time period. It suggested that these early humans had the ability to think ahead, plan and execute complex tasks. The presence of animal bones, some bearing cut marks and evidence of burning, further illuminated the lives of these early humans. These marks indicated that they not only hunted but also processed and cooked their food. These remnants suggested a diet that included a variety of animals, from gazelles and zebras to larger prey like wildebeest and even ostriches. This diverse diet was a testament to their hunting skills and adaptability. This diverse menu hinted at skilled hunters capable of taking down both small and large game, showcasing their adaptability and resourcefulness. Their ability to hunt a wide range of animals demonstrated their knowledge of the local fauna and their strategic hunting techniques. The Jebel Irhud site offers a captivating glimpse into the lives of our ancestors, revealing their ingenuity, adaptability and capacity for innovation. It shows that they were not just passive inhabitants of their environment, but active shapers of their world. It's a reminder that even hundreds of thousands of years ago, Humans possess the intelligence and resourcefulness to thrive in a challenging environment. Their legacy is a testament to the enduring human spirit and our unending quest for survival and progress.